Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today you join us in London. We're in Wimbledon Village, so I'll stick a map up on the screen so that you can see exactly where we are in the country. But today we're going to be showing you inside this development. It's actually developed by ML and listed with Hawes & Co for £4.45 million. Now this property has five bedrooms, five bathrooms and just over 4,000 square feet of interior space. As I mentioned before, we're in Wimbledon Village, so we're only a couple of minutes away from some of the best schools around. And we're also only a five minute walk away from Wimbledon High Street, which has an abundance of restaurants and shops. So you're really well catered for. There's even a bar and cafe on the end of your street. So that's super convenient. You've got a lot going on around you while having the benefit of being on a more quiet and private side street. So here we are, this is the property behind me. We've got a red brick house here, it's detached three floors of accommodation inside and we've got this nice off street parking this block paved area with some nice gardening landscaping as well but jazz i think it's about time we head inside don't you yeah let's do it let's go so as we come inside the property we have a very grand entrance hall really big ceiling heights and we're immediately faced with this spiral cellar glass door down into this yeah this wine store here so i'll open it up for you it's a pretty cool feature to have right in the entrance hall of your property. You come in, show your guests your house, Definitely. and this is the first thing they see. It's pretty sweet, right? It's an absolutely humongous, humongous space, yeah. sorry. <laughs> and we've got enough room that's probably for like 2,000 bottles of wine, I think Oh my said. gosh. So yeah, plenty of wine storage. An agent actually said that someone had the idea to put their um, shoes. shoes down there <laughs> instead, which is a pretty cool place to display that. all your J's. And we've got underfloor heating throughout all of this flooring as well as this oak smoked herringbone wood flooring that comes all the way through all of the downstairs rooms, which is nice. pretty cool to continue that through everywhere. Now we have this British built bespoke kitchen here and we've got some Italian fittings as well. So we've got this Barazzi hidden sink here. Nice. And we've also got a gas hob this side. We've got some great underglow underneath this sort of like mirror storage here. Yeah, the here. ambient lighting. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got the Kuka tap here, allowing you to have your boiling water and stuff, which is always convenient. Very nice. And then through here, we actually have a pantry, not to be confused for a utility room, because yes. we have all of the laundry needs in this property dealt with upstairs. So we'll show you that <laughs> soon, but yeah, plenty of storage for all of your condiments, sauces, and all of that type of jazz. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's so much storage in the kitchen already, yeah. but having that, it just means there's less clutter. Yeah, exactly, like yeah. We've got a breakfast bar here, one of these cool little electronic fittings that oh, keeps nice. it nice and seamless so you can charge your devices if you need to but then tuck it away we've got a sub-zero fridge here and a freezer absolutely massive sort of american style yeah. and then we have all the integrated siemens appliances here which can even be controlled by wi-fi but we've got so microwave cool. oven coffee machine and plate warmer stuff like that i like good. the wood on the um breakfast table yeah yeah it's a really like light beachy yeah beachy gray. and it contrasts the more um industrial feel in the kitchen yes but still with that gray there's a lot of grays yeah. in here even here on this uh, sort of more formal lounge space, we've got no TV or anything, but yeah, great seating area with some seats to my right as well. There's actually some inspiration, sort of interior design and exterior oh, design yeah. photos here. Sort of shows with all of these greys. It's very industrial style. It's a very matchy area. You've got the paintings on the wall that kind of match the pillows and those two chairs over there. They're super symmetrical, aren't they? Yeah. And then as we come over here, we come to the dining area of this room. We have some really cool buster and punch lights above. I love them. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? Again, adding to that sort of industrial feel of Definitely. the property. 10 seater dining room table here, so plenty of space, but again, with the sort of the gray touches. Mm. And then this room is very panoramic because we've got the bifold doors that open all the way up around. Yeah, and just let all of this light in. So I'm gonna step out into the garden now where Jazz is. Can have a look back at the property. Yeah, I've got some nice lawn space. Even got a little shed in the back yeah. right and some flower garden. Yeah, we've got plenty of room here for your alfresco dining. Yeah, got it's a nice paved start. area yeah. as well as having some grass. It's great. We've got loads of plants as well. So nice, generously landscaped garden with some high hedges too, keeping you very private. Yeah, and fencing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's nice to have that privacy in London here. For sure, right? And then you can see the sort of the red brick style of the home. The property was built in 2017, so it's still fairly new, but fits nicely into the street of houses. Definitely. So if we head back on in, Jazz, we have sort of powder room, downstairs bathroom. Here we've got loads of mirrors. Yeah. 
And loads of mirrors here, so you can sort of check out your outfit and stuff. You don't actually need a mirror because the whole wall is one. <laughs> Literally. And then we've got some decorative shelving here as well, and the herringbone floor has come all the way through here. I really love the sink. It's just it, it's so seamless. You yeah, know. it's cool. It curves on the basin. Got some cupboards there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this mirrored, mirrored effect with the panelling. Plenty yeah. of storage in here too. So. Is it big? Yeah, I can imagine this would be a great place to store all of your guests' coats and stuff. Yeah. Little boot room. So we're gonna go back across towards the front door then. So just in here we have another lounge, but this is more of an informal space. So in here we have two sofas, plenty of seating, very soft, got the carpet. Already it feels much cosier in here. Yeah, even from definitely. The, from the acoustics, it's quite a nice room. You could imagine yourself watching a movie in here because we've got this projector screen and this projector that comes down from here, it's really tucked away. Yeah. But that's nice pretty cool. Hidden. Sort of doubles up as a cinema room. We've got yeah, loads of space, decorations and some trees in here. But we've also got this old, well, this not old, looks like an old traditional fireplace. Yeah, with and the log got, burner. Yeah, log burner in there too, which is a nice touch. Keeps you nice and warm yeah. during the winter months. So we've got two studies on the other side of the hall. We're going to head into this one first. So this one benefits from having the, the window out to the front mm -hmm. of the property, which is great. It's very nice and airy in here, very light. And then great place to do some work. Like you said, Jazz, with the interior design, they've really yeah. thought it out very well in here. It looks great. Got a nice neutral tones in here, once again, with the kind of textured wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sort of keeps those rooms a little bit more separate from that big open plan space. Yeah. You know, they've got their own theme, which is nice. And then, as you may have noticed, we have this sort of bookcase here. We also have a study next door, Jazz. If you head through there, you will see that this bookshelf <laughs> is actually a false door. So yeah, that's pretty cool. A little hidden feature. So it's sort of like a, a his and hers setup for the studies. Yes. Which is nice. So we've got two of them for the for whoever's living in the property. And this actually looks like a coffee machine. I wanted to show you this because it's pretty mad. You don't see this in many studies. No. But yeah, it would be cool if it was a coffee machine, but it's actually a beer tap. <laughs> so you put your keg in the cupboard down below and you can help yourself to a nice cold beer while you're yeah. Where you're working, which is really taking work from home and just pushing the limits <laughs> all the way to the weekend. Yeah, and then across here we have understairs storage, but we're going to head on upstairs now, and Jazz is going to show you guys the master bedroom first and all the other bedrooms. So, should we meet them up there? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right, so we're up on the first floor now, and you can see we've switched to carpet, but I'm going to take you into the principal suite. How much space is in this room? Yeah, this is huge in here. It's huge. We've got the all these windows as well, letting so much light, and we've got the deep window sills too, and the blackout blinds, of course. It's a very symmetrical room, so we've got the huge bed in the middle with the kind of textured blue tone wallpaper, which is seen throughout. We've also got speakers in the ceiling as well as the spotlights. And Tom. Yeah, Harry Potter is actually here. Uh... Harry Potter has been here. Harry Potter has been here. <laughs> Harry Potter was here 20 yeah. 2017. <laughs> anyway, so coming here, we have a nice seating area. And the reason we have that is because what well, looks like a normal little dressing area actually has a TV behind this mirror. Yeah, it's so pretty it cool. Really hidden. Up, yeah. It's like a vanity unit there next to the sort of like That's... dressing table. Yeah. It's very well hidden. We've also got like a little divide for all of your jewelry, cufflinks, that kind of thing. Yeah, look at it, and you open it like that, and it's got a glass screen so you yeah. can lay out all your jewelry nice. Nice. Yeah, and then coming over this side, we actually have the zip tap. Zip tap. Yeah. It's quite cool to have in your bedroom, isn't it? So it gives you boiling, cold, and, and sparkling. sparkling. Do you want to open water? up that cupboard underneath you? This is like the hotel experience. Other side. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then we've got a little mini fridge there, look. <laughs> so you don't even have to go downstairs for your no. beverages. Exactly. Now, show them the secret surprise. Whoa! <laughs> so behind this mirror, we actually have the en suite. Yeah, so we've got a bath to my left here. Yes, yeah, so we've got a nice bath. We've got the Italian tiles as well. I'm liking the black features in here. So we've got the drawers, even like the sides of the mirrors, the towel warmer, all dark. We've got the glass. Sink That's a nice basin. touch, isn't it? You don't often yeah. see glass basins, but it looks cool. I like it. And then we've got the mirror storage with the ambient lighting above too. Now in here, this is... Oh, I'm going to get in. Yeah. This is pretty cool. So we actually have this shower, which has a seat. We've got the recesses for products. And the best thing about it is that it is actually a steam room as well. Yeah. 
So yeah, there's nothing more to say. That would be pretty Steam cool, wouldn't it? Up. Yeah. Yeah, and then in here, in here we have like the black shower heads and features as well. Even the glass door. Which yeah. Is nice. And speaking of those black features, we actually have the toilet separately. In That's this nice. In here, I like to have cool. a separate toilet. Yeah. Keeps With it nice and neat, doesn't it? Black paint. And also, it just means that like, if someone was actually using that toilet, you could still use the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wait for them to be finished. Exactly. Oh There's goodness. also a mirror on the back of the door. Yeah, which too. I thought was the bedroom, which I nearly <laughs> just walked into. Right. Coming on back out. Yeah. Going to take you into the other surprise. Sorry, door. Which is this walk-in dressing room slash wardrobe. They've got LED lights at the back of these glass shelves, so the edges actually are illuminated, which yeah. looks really cool. And then we've got plenty of storage. You've got loads of shelves, loads of drawers, rails, yeah. everything you need, even plenty a big mirror. And it's gray, so it fits in with the theme yeah, nice. throughout. Now, come on out of here. So like Tom said downstairs, the pantry was not to be confused with the utility room, as here yeah. we have the laundry room, which is Huge, we have two washing machines, two tumble dryers, loads of storage above. Tons of storage. Underneath. And we've we also got have, a sink here. Yeah, we've got a sink with a tap and a mirror across the back. Yeah, it's a very convenient room. Yeah, definitely. I like the uh, the wood on that, it kind of reminds me of that table you said you liked yeah, downstairs. Definitely. Oh gosh, they're big shelves. All right, now coming across here, we have another bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes too. The ensuite in this one has a round window that you can see from the outside of the property. It looks really good. Like a porthole. Yeah. Also has the jet bath and the kind of grey style that matches yeah. the rooms yeah, downstairs. Yeah, like a light grey theme. Exactly. And then we've got another bedroom on the other side once again with the inbuilt storage. And in this ensuite, we kind of have the really cool exposed raw brick tiles. I never know what to call them, but they're really cool. They're glittery as well. Anyway, coming on back out, we're gonna head up to the second floor, which is the final floor, and I'm gonna meet you up there. So the final floor of the property, on this landing, we actually have a skylight, which means the light floods all the way down to the bottom floor, and then we've got some extra storage up here too. But coming on into this bedroom, we have one of the top floor bedrooms, loads of storage in here, perfect for a teenager, I'd say, and it's so bright. But coming on into the ensuite, we have a light grey theme, once again with the Italian tiles, we've got the shower here too. And they've really done a great job with the mirrors, they really fit the pitch of the roof. Nice and bespoke. Yeah, sort of custom, custom yeah, design. exactly. But we're going to head across into the final bedroom. Once again, very spacious. This ensuite is exactly the same as the last, except from it's just a darker grey. Now, yeah. in this room, there's a bit of a surprise for you guys. Yes, as well as having all of this sort of like Eve storage, we actually have more storage this side, but this one's even more special. So we've just got a cupboard. You're going to... Um... Oh, okay. So this cupboard leads to a secret room, which would be great for a child. Yeah, or hide anything. and seek. Nice meditation space when you want to get away from everyone. So yeah, we hope you've enjoyed the tour of this house. We're going to take you out into the local area and show you what's immediately around the property. We'll see you out there. As well as the garden in the property, we also have an abundance of green space nearby, an example being here at Wimbledon Park. Now we're only moments away from the famous Wimbledon tennis facilities and centre court. We actually drove past it. It was pretty cool to see you, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a world famous spot. Definitely. And I just think one of the best things about living here would be the fact that you're so close to London city centre, but you really benefit from the more quaint yeah, lifestyle here. Yeah, you're slightly further here. removed from that city centre. Exactly, yeah. And there's just so much going on here and it's a beautiful location in London. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed the tour. Comment down below your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video.